Whoa, try, don't die. I see you, beautiful. I see you, look at me. I see you, baby, shaking she that ass. ass. <laughs> shaking that arm cannon. <laughs> shaking that arm cannon. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back, everybody. We're back to one try, don't die, Metroid Prime. Mm hmm That's right. Um, So we're going to walk over here. We're going to... Go ahead and give ourselves a little save action. We love to save. Yeah, saving is fun right at the beginning of the episode, isn't it, Mike? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um, I hope you guys have been, well, we hope you've been enjoying this uh, series so far. And we hope you've been enjoying Metroid Month, because we're, we're now uh, probably like halfway in. Yeah, ish. pretty much halfway into Metroid Month at this point. So. And uh, I think around this point... We uh, should be definitely playing some of that Metroid Fusion. Well, not only that... But uh, probably have our hands on a, on a copy of um, Metroid: Return of Samus. Oh, good. Because um, we're we're recording and talking in the future. <laughs> yeah, um, um, I've been through here. I'm not going to come through here a second time. So, like, I've already progressed through here. So that's definitely not the thing. But yeah, I, oh, I, I particularly have been really excited for Metroid: Return of Samus. It looks. Phenomenal. I think that yeah, and, and like uh, I have a I have the old DS as well, so and I been, think I might need to pick that up. I've been waiting for that kind of Metroid game forever. Yeah, I think everybody has mm -hmm. um, on some level. And uh, actually, at, at Anime North this uh, this past year, uh -huh. um, I I got us a copy of the original uh, Metroid Two: Return of Samus. Oh really? Um, that maybe we play on the channel. Maybe we don't. We, Who knows? We probably you know. It's a thing that we're um, probably going to have. But I, I think that's probably, like, one of the least played Metroid games just because it was a Game Boy game, you know? Uh, yeah, but I believe it was still, like, a really good uh, game. Oh, yeah. Uh, in general. Well, it also had, uh, it also had the fan community uh, make um, AM2R, another Metroid 2 remake. Yeah. That was also uh, really well done, really well received by everybody except for Nintendo. Oh, we got some uh, <laughs> Yeah. It was, it was, sorry, what? Nintendo um, put a, uh, a cease and desist once the game came out. Oh, because it was fan-made, right? Yeah. Yeah, th um, they don't like that. Yeah. But the game was completed, which was good. Oh, that's good. Um, yeah, I like it when fan, when like fan projects like that. Mm -hmm. to see the light of day to that, people. I think that's kind of what, um, what steers me away from the video game industry as a career. Yeah. Um, who knows, I might, I might try to you know put my hand in it at some point again yeah there's plenty of avenues for oh fuck off but just um how man fucking guy how cutting like companies can be to fans yeah, that are just good. trying to make good out of out of something they love like, yeah because usually most most fan make projects aren't about making money they're about like Showing how much they love a specific game or series. Completely, dude. And yeah, it's not just the, com like a the companies that react game. are like, "Oh, we don't want, we don't want this because we want to be able to do it possibly ourselves." Yeah, or it's not a first-person shooter or something like that. Yeah, and it's not like you know, so and like if it's not something, if it's I, not something they love, then I, I've it always worried about made. coming up with an idea that somebody else already has or is working on. Mm -hmm. Um, oh yeah, totally. Beginning. I think that's like everybody's. Um, because it's happened to me before where I've even mentioned an idea, and like six months later, a game comes out of it. Oh yeah, totally. I feel like so that. It's like what kind of small world is it? You know? I mean, I feel like I had that exact same feeling with like uh, the game Infamous. Um, yeah. I thought of like a character who was like kind of could control electricity or whatever, and um, then that game came out. I loved it. I fucking loved Infamous. And it was like maybe we'll play that on the channel. Oh Oops. yeah, that's like another really good example. of that's another good game for like one try, don't die. Yeah. I mean that 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 has a lot of a lot of uh, progression and exploration. I I chose the dark path with that game. Really? Yeah, that's like one of the few games I've ever really chosen the dark path. Like, but look, you get like awesome fucking powers. Did you, you both pass eventually though? Uh, no, just just pure dark. Really? Yeah, just okay. pure dark. So like I had like um, a lot of control Oof. over lightning and stuff like that. Yeah, he's fun. We're just gonna give him the old scan. So he's just trying to say that he's a he's got this he's a plate giant needle. plate on the thing. The thick cranial plating can repel frontal attacks. So I just need to get behind him, and he's a little mini boss. I, yeah, I just I think yeah. I, mm hmm. Do to do. So he's gonna do his little thing. Come on, sir. 
Hi there, my friend. He's not having it. There yeah, you go. there he goes. Yeah, I'm gonna, like, I'm gonna um, go left, and then I'm gonna go right, there, and then I'm gonna attack you. Yeah. There's been a few times where I've I've had an idea, and I've mentioned it, and then it comes out. Um, one of them specifically, I, I mentioned uh, somewhat directly, somewhat indirectly to uh, Nintendo. Yep. And, um, Did you? It was during a feedback survey for uh, personal trainer cooking. I'm like... Oh. I think this is a really cool thing because it teaches you how to cook, and it's not necessarily a game, but it it it, Dang it. it really teaches you like one. a lot of neat things about ingredients and, and preparing food and stuff like that. I think it'd be really cool if there was something for art. Yeah. And then six months later, there was uh, Art Academy. Oh, good. Yeah. Morph Ball. Morph Ball. Yay! And the other one I had, I was starting to develop a a Sonic-ish like character that was an armadillo. Um, oh. Not not quite mighty. Um, <laughs> but so he was, he was like, <laughs> would he been like a Nintendo like IP, but he's like an armadillo. Well, he wasn't he wasn't necessarily a Nintendo IP, but he was like a mascot kind of character. Oh, okay, cool, yeah. Um, so what kind of game would he have been running fast? Um, I I really like the whole um, turning into a ball thing. That was that was where I had started with it. Just but like then, this. But then soon after, Dylan's Rolling Western came out, which you're a a armadillo cowboy. That can turn into a ball and speed around really fast. Oh, cool. Man. So in this game, I believe in Metroid Prime 3 Corruption, you could like flip up the controller yeah. and then it lets you hop. I don't think uh, we have that ability yet. We do not get that ability yet. I'm not sure if we do eventually get it. I believe I we will. I think we do. Yeah, so this is just trying to tell me here that I can't do it. with. I can't break this thing. Oh. Uh, um, even with a missile. Even with a missile. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I, I need. Not. I need... <laughs> Oh, that wasn't quite sheepy. No, not really. No. But we can get back now. Well, that's good. Yeah. We have to turn back into a ball. Um. So yeah, month of Metroid has been going on for a little while. Mm. Um, I'm. I can't wait to see what they do with Metroid Prime Four because yeah. well, it was really one of my favorite. Like Metroid Prime Three, I, wait, like, like. All the games hold a really special place in my heart. Like yeah. all, like Metro Prime Two is really interesting, and like a lot of people don't really like that game. It was kind of like not really well received. No, no, I, I think people like this one a lot better. Um, not even Metro Prime Three. I, I think Metro Prime Three had had better rep than uh, Prime Two that did. Um, but like I think that there was a lot of great stuff about Prime Two because it introduced like ammunition, yeah. and it had like. The light and dark realm, which I which I don't think a lot of people enjoyed too much, but it was really cool at the time, mm -hmm. I think. So if I actually lock on, I to those guys I can You can send I can, a missile after them. I can I can send a homing missile after them, so yeah. that's pretty cool. But like yeah, so yeah, I don't, month of Metroid. Yeah, month of Metroid, it's happening. Mm -hmm. It's um, a good time. And um Really, this is this was the first Metro game I ever really got into. Really yeah. sucked my teeth into. Because you got into you got into uh, Prime before the rest of the kind of games. Yeah, and I was the opposite. Exactly. Yeah, I, I was always more gravitated towards these. I think it's just like the immersion factor that I got with this game because, mm -hmm. like, um, yeah, we definitely haven't been here yet. But uh, we we've talked about it before, and uh, we, maybe we'll play it on the channel someday. Hopefully. Um, Metroid Prime Hunters was a big thing. Metroid Prime Hunters is definitely um, a, a huge thing for both of us. Yeah. So that, that was, was a really fun one. Yeah, we definitely connected on that one. Um, and these guys are like they're enemies, and I can destroy them if I really want to. But they but keep you light. They can also give me light. Yeah. So it serves multi-purpose. And this is some gross water. So the whole point of this area, if you're not familiar with this game, is we're trying to like restore the area back to the way it was mm -hmm. because there seems to be just all this um i don't think we can actually progress through here yet i think we have to wait but if i'm not mistaken but um i'll just check it out because i haven't really yep. checked it out yeah we can't go through there yet yeah, you remember this game pretty well yeah um yeah definitely because i've just played it like so many times when i was younger mm. um yeah, and I, I don't know, like, um, this game, like, I always compared this game to Bioshock, like I said, um, 
I'm not sure, like, which one I like better, really. I think both of them have, like, really awesome places in my heart. And, um, it, like, I would definitely not trade, like, a game, my GameCube experience that I had for, like... Because, like, my friends had Xbox and stuff like that. Yeah. So that was definitely something. So these guys are really cool. I never had original Xbox. I never got on that bandwagon. You never did, eh? No. No, I, you had the Xbox I, 360. And I got 360 um, because I was I was part of a, a program where I could get it for really cheap. Mm -hmm. And that's why I ended up buying one. Oh, okay, sure. And I, nice. and I, I don't know for sure. I think mine is a refurbished model. Yeah. Um, but I ended up getting it for much cheaper than they would traditionally sell for it at retail. And, that's awesome. Uh, that's way better than there, fucking buying there's, it. For there's some, there's some really good games dollars. on it, but I, I, I've never been a huge Xbox gamer. It's just certain experiences on it I, I like. Um, one of those specifically being Alan Wake. Alan Wake, yeah, yeah, definitely. Like, you bought the Xbox pretty much for that yeah. game. And, like, we should definitely play that game on the show, I think. I, I also want to try to do um, Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts <laughs> just because of how much hate that game gets, but I want to, like. Yeah. I want to just go crazy with that game and just like definitely have the the funniest, stupidest playthrough we can make. I agree with you. Now I think there's actually a way that you can get to the double jump early, um, but I don't really know how to do it. But like, I bet someone who does know could tell me that like I could double jump across here or something like that. Mm -hmm. But I don't really have that ability yet. So this is just trying to say that I can't cross this because I need that sandstone. I need to be able to break that sandstone. So yeah. what we're doing now is I think we're just progressing our way towards getting that ability. So we're going to go through that locked door that I opened by going over here. And oh, there's some red weed down there, which is actually different. So that's the, that's the weed down there. Oh. That's all right. We got yeah. a little, little, little thing. What is that? A little scrape. It's a rune. It's a runic symbol. Um, so that's a good thing. I don't think we have everything we need in order to be able to activate all those runic symbols yet, so we're gonna have to wait on that. Yeah. But the, um, yeah, they're they're all scattered around here. Basically, we need the sandstone block in order to. We need the sandstone. Yeah, the morph ball bomb basically to actually get through. Oh, hello. He's doing a little dance. Basically, I always yeah. consider that to be a little dance. And they're just going, yeah, shake it every way. Yeah. Now, for some reason, when I always saw those, I thought the little ball on them was an eye. Yeah. I don't know what the... I don't really know, like, if... Those other ones, like, there's there's definitely, like, eyes just on the wall. Like, yeah. that you definitely get that in that game. In this game. Um, yeah, definitely a lot of amazing art in this game, I think, too. Just, like, like across the board, it just keeps changing. And, like, there's always, like, new stuff, like, coming around the corner. Yeah. And it, it makes you feel good. It makes you feel. It makes you feel like. Makes you feel um, alive. Makes you feel like, oh my god, I'm not just hitting the same squishy enemy like over and over again. Yeah. Like in Mario. Like in Mario. <laughs> um, I think a lot of games uh, give um, get a bad flack for that nowadays because mm -hmm. like a lot of other games try to focus on a lot of other kind of core aspects about gameplay, but they don't necessarily focus on enemy variety. Um, I think that's part of where Metroid Prime Two was kind of. Kind of fell into that cycle because there was a lot of different types of for those of you who don't know that's like there was like a kind of enemy type in that game called the inn mm -hmm. which is like the dark world so if you played zelda there was like a dark world just like um if you played a link to what was it like a link to the past or i don't know yeah fucking, and then you can go back in time or you can go, there's like the light world and the dark world or whatever yeah so um people compare that to that all the time so people are like oh nintendo just recycling the same thing over and over again. Yeah. But I never really played that game. But that's people always shit-talking Nintendo for whatever reason. Just shit-talking Nintendo because they're jealous of all their money. <laughs> Jeez, Nintendo's going under. Oh, Nintendo's still going under. We had, like, we, like our, uh, one of our Resident Evil 4 episodes yeah. that we did, like, we were, like, had, like, basically a rant. Room? Sorry? Did you scan the room? Um. There's one back there. I think so, but yeah, I'm not sure we have, um... There might we might be able to do the thing in here. That one there. Where about sorry? No, like it was right in front of you. Oh, was on the was on, on the, the floor. floor. Yeah. yeah. There you go. See, I'm paying attention. Yeah, you are. <laughs> Good job, Mike. I did it. You did it. You done the thing. 
Um, there's lots of uh, little things around here. Um, but one thing that I, I like to see in, in games sometimes, and it's it's very rare, um, Sega did it with uh, Sonic Lost World, but I'd like to see Nintendo do it with Metroid Prime 4. Yeah. Is do crossover DLC? Um, oh, okay. Like, so, yeah. I want to see Samus in, like, a Mushroom Kingdom level. Oh, well, the, Just, yeah, like, absolutely. Just, like, shooting Goombas and, and Koopas and all that kind of stuff. I think it'd be really mm -hmm. fun. So we got three of the four rooms, and then when we get that, then we'll be able to go back there. Well, maybe we'll get that on the next episode. Yeah. Well, that's definitely um, a good place to end it right there, mm -hmm. anyway. Um, so we hope you guys have been enjoying our playthrough of Metroid Prime. Um, this is our one try. This is our, our new one try, don't die. You betcha. Um, for this, uh, we haven't stopped playing Resident Evil 4. Nope. Um, it's just that um, the game is taking to a point where Mike needs a lot of practice for each of the sections. So that and we want to celebrate Metroid Month in style with all kinds of Metroid games so, yeah, all month long. Got to keep it fresh, keep it real for everybody here. Yeah. And uh, we shall see you guys on the next time. Yeah. If you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe. Ah! This helps us out. Uh, we love talking to you in the comments, and we release videos four times a week. Yeah. So, we hope to see you on the next time. Who the fuck is that room? Jesus. I don't want to... Ah!